Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Stenelux here, bringing you guys the next part of the Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. So yeah, last time we ended up making our way to Hullbury, and now we're actually going to get this cutscene real quick, where we are going to meet Chairman Rose and Elena. See you later, Chairman. No need to rush off, I can still do more autographs. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card. Which, it's very odd, because Rose looks like he's in his underwear. Definitely looks like he's just walking around in his boxers, but I'm pretty sure they should be short, so. Jason, i like that. Aren't you a bit harsh, Ol Ol Olena? Fans are very important, of course, but that's why you need to keep doing your work, for their sake. Probably everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. We obviously met BD earlier. BD, sir. That's right. Uh, I'm, gonna call, I'm just going to call him BD. I, I don't know if it's Beat or BD. I'm going to call him BD. I dare say I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. Will you be the one to win the gym challenge, or perhaps it will be the one of the trainers endorsed by the champion? I'll prove your faith in me was well placed, Chairman. I won't lose to anyone. Anyway, I'll be on my way now. So obviously we can see that Rose and BD have that relationship together, which dates back a few years. Your name was Ren, right? We were just talking about you. I admit I'm curious about Leon's reasons for endorsing you. I just had a, grit, a, grit, a, little, a good idea, as I tend to do. You're going to face gym leader Nessa soon, right? If you get a gym badge from her, I'll hold a celebration. I'd like to get to know you a little better after all. Chairman, Chairman, we really should be going. Please do your best for the sake of Gallo's future. So our next objective, which uh, Oleana's definitely going to tell us, is to win the gym badge and then we're going to face the gym. That's what we are going to do. So you can see that she's uh, outside the seafood restaurant. I forget what it's called, actually. Okay, let's see what they tell us what it is. Um, nope. She doesn't tell us what the actual uh, name of the restaurant is, which we'll find out later. I forget what it is. It's, it's a pretty clever name. So let's walk up. Uh, let's get this real quick. We got a little full wheel. That might be useful. Gonna, let's talk to this guy up here. Yeah, high hopes for you. I mean, I say that to every challenger, of course. Okay. Now, there are a few houses here. I don't recall if there's anything of major importance here, but we also get a, I believe this is a train station. This is a train station indeed. I don't know if these kids give us anything. No, but they little give us a little tidbit about uh, Unova. What a nice little uh, reference there. All right, so let's, uh, let's make our way towards the gym then. Alright, and then we're going to find this woman here. You must be Jin Challenger. If you're looking for the Jimmy Nessa, she's off at the lighthouse. I'll say yes. We have to make our way towards the lighthouse, which is in this direction. Nice little walk. Get to see the, the pier here, which is pretty cool. You actually get to go fishing for some Pokemon, but uh, we are not going to do that right now. Get another item. Two super potions, that's definitely useful. And here we're going to find Nessa, so let's talk to her real quick. Must be a gym challenger, right? That's amazing! You're one of those endorsed by Leon, right? You've become something of a hot topic among the gym leaders. Here you are, Mr. Famous. I already heard about you, so you should learn about me too. And she's going to give us her lead card. I said at the stadium, I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more, and I'm itching for a battle with you. Well, okay, Nessa, thank you. Oh, actually, as you can see here, oh, I just decided to sit down. These are actually the different forms of toxicity. I don't know if it tells you. It's a statue of Pokemon said to have protected the lighthouse. So it's interesting because as far as I know, there is no way to enter this lighthouse as of yet. But there is a guy up there, so I'm curious about how we're going to get up there. All right, so let's make our way towards the gym then. So this is a water gym, so obviously we're going to want something to counter that. So what we're going to do... So we're going to throw good old Grookey Kong in the front there. Alright, Mr. Pokeball Man, what do you got for us? He's going to give us a lore ball. Lore balls are great for fishing, great for uh, throwing, a Pokemon, um, throwing out a Pokemon that you are fishing for. And then we're going to talk to this woman over here. Hey there, gym leader, or gym challenger. Shall we start the process to get you ready for the gym? Please do. Please do. Now we're going to change to our uniform. And we are going to take on the next gym.
And here we go. Gym number two. This is a really cool gym. This was actually in the demo for Sword and Shield. Um, it's very unique, but it's just, I think the colors are what really pops. It's very cool to see the design that they went for. Challenging maze, and you must reach the gold to clear the, the gym. However, some paths in the maze are blocked by water. What should you do? Well, we're going to find these buttons, different colored buttons, and they are going to trigger the um, the water um, pumps, I guess. In any case, let's face our first trainer in the gym. So as I said, grass types are going to be most effective, as well as electric types, but we do not have one on our team. So we're going to stick to good old Grookey Kong. And we're going to go for a Razor Leaf. Because Razor Leaf seems to be our best move. Above Branch Poke, just because it has the higher chance to crit, but it also has a higher base power, which is nice. We're going to get some levels up. Obviously we see that we have Kesha that we received last time in the egg. Well, I'm sorry, not in an egg. From the daycare lady. Which is actually unique that you get a baby Pokemon like that that isn't in an egg. So you guys are going to see it. We're going we're gonna to click the switch here. And it's going to switch the water around. And so then if we switch this, it's going to turn that yellow one off. We come back, click the red one, and we clear the red one. So obviously it seems really easy. There is one that's a little bit challenging further ahead, but it's not impossible. All right, so obviously if we were to click this red one, what's going to happen is it's going to block our way. So obviously we don't want to do that. So we want to switch that back off. And we're going to make our way to the yellow button that's right here. Alright, we're going to face Gym Trainer Heather, who sends out a Krabby. Alright, let's go for our Razor Leaf once again. And that is going to defeat her. Critical hit, see? Just like I told you guys. And now she's going to send out a Corefish. Interesting that they decided to put two Crab Pokemon like that into Sword and Shield. I guess if they felt it necessary to have all those Crab Pokemon. That's not even including the Hermit Crab Pokemon for Crustle. Alright, so that's going to do it for us. And then we have to click this switch. You guys are going to see it's going to turn the yellow ones off. And then what we can do is click this one. That is going to switch those around. So then we can walk around this way. <clears throat> so let's walk through this. And this is where it gets a little bit challenging. So let's just face this gym trainer so we can clear her out of the way. We're going to face gym trainer away. Right. I was going to say one Razor Leaf should do it. It should do it for most of the Pokemon in this gym. Moly Poly levels up. And now we're going to face a Choodle. One more one hit KO. Well done. You go, Grookey Kong. You slam those sticks into the opponent. <laughs> All right. Now, next, we have to figure out which switches we're going to click. As you guys can see over here, there is a yellow one, so let's click that real quick. So we're going to walk around this way. Click this red one. Click the blue one going to clear those, but then our obstacle is those right there. So, is there another way we can get around? Actually, no, because I messed it up. <laughs> Alright, so let's click the blue one once again. Oh, wait, actually, no. I see a staircase right here. See? Oh, I did it right. Wonderful. Well, now, we completed it easy as pie. Gym mission cleared. 
And now we face the gym. Always save before a gym challenge, just in case. It's always good to do so. And let us walk right in to the gym. What would be really cool, and I hope some modders end up doing, because I'm such a big fan of the Pokemon GameCube RPG games being Colosseum and XD, Gale of Darkness, I think it would be really cool to add that music to this game because it's the first console game since those. So, Welcome, Honored Gym Challenger. I think you'll already realize, but I'm Nessa. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. No matter what kind of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. Obviously, she's going to sound a little more feminine than me, um, but obviously that's the dialogue. So, All right, so let's face Nessa, who's holding a dive ball. Let's see what she's got first. She's got a Goldeen. Nice, nice little throw there. We're going to have Grookey Kong come out. Now our Dynamax is ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to Dynamax right away. Because we're going to be able to take these guys out real quick. Alrighty then. So now we got Grookey Kong who's absolutely huge. We're going to take out that Goldeen. And now we get our um, our Grass Terrain to come out, which is going to heal us every turn, which is going to be really helpful. Granted, we aren't taking any hits now, but it's still useful to have. And now she's going to send out Arukada. Ar Arukuda. Let's use one more Max Overgrow. Sorry, Overgrowth. And then next, she's going to send out her for uh, Dynamax Pokemon. Gookie Kong gross level 24. He's going to learn Knock Off. Great move to have. Um, I'm going to say, let us get rid of... Even though Branch Poke is a unique move to Grookey, I don't believe that we should keep it. So we will grab a Knock Off instead. Here we go. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. And she sends out Dreadnought. Right now is going to have two times weakness to our grass move, which is going to be helpful. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean. Dreadnought, time to Dynamax. So I actually made an error in one of my last videos talking about the music that accompanies the gym battles. It is actually not made by Toby Fox. Uh, that is actually the Battle Tower music, which I did confuse because they are both so, honestly, so epic. So I think anybody could make that mistake. <laughs> in any case, though, we do take out the Dreadnought in one hit. He did not last long. So much for Dynamaxing, huh? Now Stripes is going to level up to level 20. And Grookey Kong did his thing all by himself. And this is a little bit upset. I may proudly be the strongest member of this gym, but I was totally washed away. Indeed you were. And now we're going to get a quick evolution through Zigzagoon, which I must say, I don't know if I've commented on this earlier, but the evolution animations are so much better, being as they are pretty quick and seamless. But Stripes does evolve into a Linoon, which is absolutely amazing. I, I do love the Galarian Linoon. I think I like the Galarian Linoon a little bit better than I like the Zigz... I'm sorry, the Obstagoon. But, in any case, we are going to... I'm going to trash one of these moves. Let's get rid of... I do not like Pin Missile, so... I'm not sure if Pin Missile is viable on a Linoon anyhow, but Linoon shouldn't be staying on our team. So, how? How can this be? Now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in a gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to challenge the champion. Well, that might be some foreshadowing, or just a given, considering it's a Pokemon game. And she's going to shake our hand and give us the gym badge. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 30. 
You'll want to challenge the fire gym leader next, as you and your Pokemon are now, he'll definitely want to battle you. Ren, my sincere congratulations for your victory over gym leader Nessa. Please take this uh, TM. We're going to get TM36 Whirlpool. And now we're going to get the water uniform, which we can equip to our main character. And we're going to head out of here, because there is no reason to stay. We have to make our way towards the... I'm sorry, the Captain's Table. That's the name of the restaurant. And Olena, Oleana? I'm going to just call her Olena. Uh, gives us the League card for Leon, which is pretty cool. Right, so yeah, let's make our way to the Captain's Table. We will go inside. Oh, we're actually going to... Let's talk to this woman. Yes, welcome to the captain's table. Well, thank you. We're going to see Sonia, Leon, Elena. Ren, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, you were invited too. The two of you know each other. That's great. Come now. Please be seated. We're going to have our nice little lunch following my gym, gym challenge win. Albury is a seafood town. I love seafood. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Anything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was one of the she was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would have never been able to create Dynamax bands without her. Sigh. She was saying that there's so much we don't know about Dynamax. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector, that's the device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Locations that emit gower particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. If only there was something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the Vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it is about time we get going, Chairman. Hmm? But I've already... But I've hardly had a chance to speak with Ren. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. And they're going to leave, concluding our lunch uh, date, I, I guess. I guess a double date. I'm okay with a double date with Sony. Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a great place to look for info on the legends, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Ness is no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. So I guess we're going to get two TMs for completing a gym challenge, which is pretty cool. Ness is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, gym challenger. It's good to see you too, Sonia. Now we are we will make our way east of Hullberry. Actually, we're going to run into Hop yet again. All right, mate, you've got both the grass and water badge by now. In that case, we're both headed for Motto Stoke and the gym leader, Kabu. How about I share with you a little tip about Kabu? From what I've heard, he's hauled up now in Gower Mine 2 under doing some training. If he's there, we can't take him on in Motto Stoke even if we zip right over there, putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So yeah, let's make our way towards Gower Mine number 2. And we will find Kabu. Um, there's a few cool things you can find in this town here. Um, I didn't explore this to its fullest uh, extent, but um, yeah, we only get to find incense there. Um, I don't believe I don't believe there's anything else of major value for us right now, considering we're not really in the post game for like breeding stuff. Because I know there are some things you can find that are useful for breeding, but. Um, and we're going to actually run into a bunch of uh, Pokemon here, one being a Shellos. In my main sword playthrough, I was actually here trying to catch a bunch of Noibat because I couldn't find a Noibat in my main playthrough there. But I also didn't even play with a Noibat anyway, so it ended up not even, you know, being useful. We are going to find a Wimpod, which I am going to try to catch because it is very difficult to track down in these caves. Because as soon as it comes out, it just starts running away. The unfortunate thing, though, is that this thing will run away if it's hurt too much. So let's use one knock off and see how much it damages. Okay. Okay. And it already flees. I don't I believe that it's if it takes half damage it leaves. So I guess uh, trying to catch that was pointless. But we are going to find Didi. Uh Didi. Beedy. You again. I 
think I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weak opponents right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just have a Pokemon battle real quick because why not? BD just you know feels like challenging us every time he sees us. And he's gonna start by sending out Solosis. And we are gonna send out Grookey Kong. Which now we actually have knockoff, which is gonna be super effective against the Solosis. So it was a good thing that we ended up grabbing that move. Now Grookey Kong is gonna lead the pack. Hmm, looks like you've grown a bit, only a little bit though. Now he's gonna send out Gothica. Which means we're going to use another knockoff. Take that out and one hit as well. Oh, maybe not. I guess her she has higher defense. I spoke too soon. All right, one more knockoff. We'll take him out. Sorry, take her out. And what comes next? Hatena. Alright, so I also believe this is part fairy? Oh, maybe not. Maybe it, it might be a, a complete psychic type. Not every day I get to battle you, so I suppose I may as well try out this move. Alright, so she's going to use a Psybeam. But it's okay, we're going to take it out with another knockoff. And with that, BD should be defeated. Unless he has another Pokemon, but I don't believe he gets another Pokemon until later on. Oh, I was wrong. Not everyone can corner my team like this. So, now he's going to send out Ponyta, which this is our first look in this game at Galarian Ponyta, which I'm not quite a fan of. Uh, probably because I'm not a fan of My Little Pony, because it looks like one. So, Alright, so let's use Knock Off real quick. And Ponyta is going to be defeated. And we're going to learn Air Cutter for Jericho, but because it is a special type move and we are a physical Pokemon. Oh, actually, no, this is for Echo. My bad. So let's get rid of Gust anyway. For some reason, I believe that was for Jericho. Echo is a better special attacker, though. So, okay, Roly Poly is going to level up to 23. And with that, our gym, I'm sorry, <laughs> our uh, trainer battle against BD has concluded. Pardon me, I must. it seems I must take back my words. You're not weak, you just lack talent. <laughs> well, thanks, Petey. All right, he's going to give us a, a lead card of his. Uh, now he's going to try to track down some wishing stars. Which, okay. Okay, Petey. Um, if you see a few Pokemon over there, but we're not going to challenge them. We're going to challenge this trainer here. And let us see what Worker Francis has got in store for us. He's going to send out a Carcoal, which is what we have right now with Roly Poly. Now, I do believe Razor Wave would not defeat him. We're going to need... Ooh, we don't have a Pokemon that is strong against us. We do not have a Water Pokemon, hence why we should probably grab one. But, well, what can we use instead? I guess... I guess Grookey Kong would be our best bet for at this very moment. So let's use a quick Razor Leaf and see how much damage it does. It does not kill. It does do a critical hit. Um, but now Carcoal's going to use Smackdown, which actually will save us because that is not super effective against us. All he had to use was an Ember to defeat us, but that's okay. Definitely need a Water type on my team, although I'm not quite sure who I want to put on my team. That's a Water type. So we're going to have to find something in this cave, perhaps. Because we're definitely going to need it for the next June battle anyway. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Let's check what uh, stuff we got in our box. I don't believe we have anything... Of major value for that. No, but I guess ground types would be effective against rock types and, and fire types as well. But let us uh, let us use a super potion on Grookey Kong just to get his HP back up. Let's grab this item real quick, actually. You get three Dusk Balls, probably my second favorite Pokeballs after Luxury Balls. Let's go. Let's go fishing a little bit. Let's see what pops up. We get a Barboach, which I would rather not try to put a Barboach on my team, so I will definitely pass on that. Alright. 
Oh, that was the Galarian Stunfisk. All right, we're going to get another battle. Yeah, Galarian Stunfisk I ran into in my first playthrough, and I kind of just... I was kind of just disappointed. Like, of all the Pokemon that could have gotten a Galarian form, they decided to go with the Stunfisk, and I didn't really see the point, so... Unless for some reason it happens to be extremely useful and competitive, although I doubt it. Ooh, and then Rock, Rock and Roll is going to use his weak armor. I thought he had a he had a sturdy, which would have made it so I can't do one hit KOs, but that's okay. So let's use Knock Off. Grookey Kong just destroying everybody, which I am not opposed to that. Now she's going to send out Timber. And let's just use another Razor Leaf. And two will actually do it for us. And that's a kill. Sorry, that's a faint. We are not killing Pokemon. That is that is not what is going on. Alrighty. We can see Gastrodon in the distance. This is a actually a yellow puddle, which actually means it should be good with a secret ability, perhaps even better stats. So let us actually do our best to catch this. So let's use knock off. Oh, he's gonna use protect. So I didn't want to use Choodle initially, but perhaps using a Choodle would be beneficial for us. Just for a little bit. Alright. He's gonna use another protect. We'll just have to wait for him to stop protecting himself. Shame on you, Choodle. And shame on you for trying it two times in a row. Alright. So let's use a Pokeball. Alright, we're going to catch it. All right, now it leaves the nickname for this Choodle, the Snapping Pokemon. I have something that goes with Chew, and uh, I know this might sound a little silly, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to call him Big League. Oh, no. Is that going to fit? It does not. Well, that leaves me in a pickle. Let's call him... Oh, goodness. I guess this is the next best thing. Although, not really. Let's just call him Choo Choo. So we're going to add him to the party. And we're going to replace... Sorry, Stripes. It was good to have you while we did. So let's real quick. We got some wands. Okay, so yeah. It, it, that was a yellow... Um, a yellow uh, patch there. Let's check what he's got. Um... Bad nature, very bad nature. Uh, Pokemon Strong Jaw boosts power for its biting moves, but it actually has Dragon Tail, which might actually be the powerful move that it actually obtains that we actually found. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, not a good nature, so so I don't know how viable it's going to be. But for the time being, just to face the water, I'm sorry, the fire gym, it'll be very useful to have. But we are actually going to run into some Team Yell Grunts. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey, but that's really something. I'd love a battle against a great trainer like you. Well, I'll get you, Ren. Supposed by, surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll even be showing up Lee pretty soon. Jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah, and you can't see I'm Hop, the trainer who, you'll be next, who will be your next champion? Oh, so we got a joke here, huh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think a battle with you would definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them on together, Ren. You ready, mate? Indeed. The two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell's going to teach you kids that the gym challenge no joke. Alright, so we're going to get a nice double battle. We're going to send out Y Noon and Thievel. And I got Grookey Kong. And Hop's got his Wooloo. 
So cool thing is we have Razor Leaf, which actually will hit both Pokemon. Though I'm not sure how much damage they're going to end up doing. But, well, they do a decent bit. As so long as Wooloo can, you know, hold his own, we should be fine. I mean, Wooloo should have used that double kick on Lionu because it had it has two times weakness to fighting moves being both dark and normal. But I can't expect too much from a from an AI, right? But because Lionu ended up using a sand attack, I couldn't hit Lionu. I'm sorry, Feeble. Again, Wooloo not using the right move. I'm sorry, choosing the right Pokemon. Already Goku comes at level 22, which is pretty cool. But I think because we are low on health and considering that our uh, accuracy has been decreased, we're actually going to switch into somebody. So let's switch into Jericho. Jericho hasn't come out at all since we started this uh, this part of the, uh, the walkthrough. So let's give some, uh, Jericho some love. My going to use Baby Doll Eyes to decrease our attack, which is not helpful for us, but that's okay. I believe Hop's going to send out... Yep, he's got his own Corvus Squire. So now we have two Corvus Squires flying right next to each other. Almost in unison. Um, let's use a quick pluck against the Linoon. Again, Corvus Squire's line being one of my favorites from this generation. Absolutely incredible design. And the Pokemon's really powerful, too. Oh. Well, that is an easy... Oh. That makes sense why I didn't do that much damage, because that wasn't my pluck. I was confused as to why I wasn't doing much damage. Makes sense as it was a fury attack. Alright, now everyone's going to level up. We're going to get Panchan, which pluck's going to be extremely useful for, because it is a part fighting type. Then hopefully, yes. Hopefully Hops Corvus Squire does pluck, which it does. And we're going to defeat the Panchamp. Now it is just a matter of this Leopard, which I guess we can use Fury Attack against. Uh, you know what, let's just use pluck. I think pluck will do a decent bit of damage. Uh, but my accuracy has been decreased. That's okay, we end up hitting it anyway. Hops Corvus Squire using four. A Fury Attack hits two times. Hopefully we can just take out this Leopard with this Pluck here. Because already this battle has been kind of dragging on. But we do end up hitting the Leopard, which concludes the battle. Thank goodness. And everyone's going to level up. No, just kidding. Everyone just gets experience. You're going to tell us... Are you going to yell at us because we yell up and lost? I don't know what he even said there. If I'd used a horn, would I have even... Would I have had a better chance of winning? I don't know, man. Well, Mugs, the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. Okay, well, that's nice. I don't want you yelling anymore. Nice one, Ren. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's further in. Yes, let's go find Kabu, the third gym leader. Oh, and we're going to run into a cello. So, as you guys can see, there was a Dreadnought kind of just, you know, laying around there. I could catch that Shellos for the gym, but I'm not feeling that at this very moment in time. Oh, but there is a Wimpod here. Let's try to catch that. And it is a hard Pokemon to track down sometimes, because as soon as it sees you, it runs away. Although, it kind of looked easier to get. So anyway, we're going to try... Um, let's we'll just try throwing a Great Ball at it, because I don't want to damage it, so it runs away. But it appears to be caught. It's going to be a little tricky. Yeah, at this point, it's not even worth it. It's not worth trying to get right now. Again, there is the Dreadnought there, but we already have the Choodle. Um, so that would be more difficult to grab. So we're just going to walk away from it. Uh, let's grab this item here. A bag of soft sand, go for ground type moves, and there's our Golarian Stunfisk, which I can't stand. I was so disappointed seeing that for the first time. Let's see what we find in this fishing spot. 
A corefish. Corefish. It was a very bad impersonation of the corefish. I apologize. All right, so let's use a knockoff. So if you guys have seen my Pokemon Emerald randomizer, I actually used the Corefish for a short time and had the greatest nickname for it, which I'm going to nickname this, although it is a female, which would complicate things because the name wouldn't quite work out. Because if it was a male Corefish, I would name it Eugene because it's female. I have a better idea for it. So we're going to name this one. Mama Crabs. Oh! I messed that up. Mama Crabba. Well, I actually am not opposed to that. Um, let's add Mama Crabba to the party. Uh... I'm actually thinking over Choodle at this very moment. We'll just see what other water Pokemon we can end up getting our hands on, but Mama Crabba is a great name, even though it was done by mistake. So we're going to face Rail Staff Vincent, who's going to send out Drillbur, which will be easy for us to defeat considering it is a ground type, and we have Grass. Easy as pie. Super effective. And what comes next is an Onyx. Another Pokemon that should be defeated in one hit. And easy as pie. Once again. Alrighty. So let's grab this TM here. And let us venture on. There's that Stunfisk again. Let's do a little, I'm oh, sorry, the little fishing spot ended up disappearing. Could you come back? There we go. Just so we can see if we can find another water Pokemon, because we do need one. Yeah, that one took a while to come out. And a Barboach yet again. Again, I don't like Barboach. And I don't like Wishcast. Wishcast either. So we're not going to catch it. I refuse. Uh, instead, let us make our way over here where we're going to find Hop, who's kind of just standing around. And we're going to find Kabu with his Karkul. Thank you for helping out with my training team, Yael, but I must say it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a Karkul hard at work. We weren't getting in its way, we were trying to cheer it on. Still, you didn't number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for King Yael to Scarper? Scarper, that's an interesting word. You have a morale boost elsewhere. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Gore! <laughs> that's Kaboom, man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. Ah, you have trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and random, am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challenger. I specialize in fire Pokemon, and the water type Pokemon and Galamite 2 are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you've got out of this mine, and you'll reach Motostoke. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure we're both, you're both in top condition. Come on, Carcoal, time to get you home too. I'll make sure you get there safely. We're going to be on the fire tomorrow. I remember we talking about Kabu. You said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. Alright, now we're going to make our way out of the mines. Which is a good thing. I don't think there was anything that's useful uh, for a water type aside from the Pokemon we already caught. But I guess uh, the wild area could be something to check. Yes. So we're going to ask us about Pokemon jobs, which are useful, especially for EV training for competitive. But we're going to find a bunch of Pokemon here, and we're going to get a gym. I'm sorry. I keep saying gym. Hey, just a regular Pokemon battle. So we're going to face her real quick, and then we're going to try to make our way towards Motostoke, which we will end our 
uh, part for this walkthrough. Alright, so we do go up against the Gamper, so I'm going to use a nice little Razor Leaf, hope for the crit to take it out faster. And that doesn't happen, but we do get Spark. We'll use one more Razor Leaf. Let's see what comes next. Rookie Kong put in a lot of work for this for this episode today. But we are going to go up against a Swoobat, which is part Psychic, I believe. So we're going to use Knock Off for it. Ooh, but it does use Air Cutter. Obviously me forgetting the Flying Typing. But I think one more Knock Off should take out the Swoobat. As long as we don't die from Confusion. Which we just barely survived. Alright, just like that, she's defeated. Alright, we see a few Pokemon walking around. What is that there? What is that? Salandit? Oh, it's a Salandit. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? Why not catch it? I'm like looking at it like, what is that? What is that? It's a Salandit. I actually never played with Salandit in the Sun and Moon games. Cool, although this is a male, so which means it wouldn't evolve. So I'm gonna run away from it. Because I don't find it useful then. Unless I could breed it, but I don't think that's uh too necessary at this time. Ooh, we're gonna see a police officer. Let's walk right by him. Alright, now we're going to get to this bridge. I'm gonna find some I'm sorry, was there a glistening item here? Yep there was. There's a health feather. Let's see what other feathers we can find. What's this? Health feather. Muscle feather. And, oh, oh, going too fast, going too fast. Oh, and a swift feather. Increases speed. Just like that, we are back in Moto Stoke, where next time we will go right into a gym challenge. So, guys, thanks again for tuning in today. Uh, it's always good to do these episodes. Uh, I've been really enjoying this game and doing this walkthrough because it's different from the Nuzlocke, so I've been having a lot of fun with it. So, if you guys are new, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me your favorite Pokemon from this generation. Tell me your favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, any of that information is always good to really get to know you guys um, a little better. So, guys, take care. Take it easy. Enjoy these games if you're playing them. And as always, happy gaming.